ever since Tiktaalik crawled onto land. 375 million years ago, many animals have opted to go back into the sea in order to survive. Sometimes they do it to escape predators. Other times they do it to access a better food source. No matter why they do it, any prehistoric animal which ventured back into the sea has evolved and changed drastically to adapt to their new environment. One of the more fearsome aquatic turned animals is the mosasaur. It is so fearsome that it became the top marine predator after the ichthyosaurs went extinct in the late Cretaceous period. It is believed that the mosasaur started out as small lizards living on land during the time of the dinosaurs. In order to escape the constant threat of being eaten by the dinosaurs, the animals which would become the mosasaur moved into the sea and swam in a way which looked like it was slithering through the water. Because of how well the lizards thrived in the ocean, they moved up the food chain and made many adaptations which turned them into the top predators of the late Cretaceous Ocean, with one of these adaptions being its new size of 50 feet long. However, even though it was a fearsome predator, it could not survive the extinction which also wiped out all the dinosaurs. Aside from its evolutionary successes, there are other reasons why this fish lizard is so cool. Evidence from a mosasaur fossil with unborn babies in its abdomen suggested that it gave birth instead of laying eggs. Yes, so did the ichthyosaurs and plesiosaurs, but that still doesn't make it any less cool. Another thing which made it cool, as stated previously, is that it became one of the top predators of the late Cretaceous period after the ichthyosaurs died out. Plus, the design of the mosasaur could be argued to look more like a sea monster than the ichthyosaur ever could. In conclusion, the mosasaur is one of the most interesting marine reptiles to ever exist. Yes, the plesiosaur and ichthyosaur could also be extremely interesting, and I just don't know about it because most of my research for this video revolved around the mosasaur. I'm sorry, I shall do more research next time if that is the case. I'm not a scientist. I'm just a dude with a YouTube channel, so if you want to do your own research or add to the conversation in the comments, I highly recommend it. I appreciate all the comments from the Spinosaurus video. I've learned a lot from them. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.